people ask me how I am. I don't really know how to answer the question. Because most of the time I'm fine. But it's hard. It's a month to the day since Julian and I got married in Bummer. And it was a sweet and happy moment for us amidst all this horror. And if there's something in this experience that has become more and more clear and stark, it is how as much as there is horror, there is humanity, there is sympathy, there is decency, and you cannot lose sight of that. What they're doing to Julian is barbaric, but it awakes, it awakens in normal people and decent people, people who have a sense of humanity. An imperative need to show their disgust. This will not be tolerated. You know, I grew up Southern Africa, my parents were at the, uh, the struggle against the party. And uh, I remember going to, uh, to rallies as a child. released because decent people in that case came out and they shouted for his freedom and they said that they shouted even if they were the only person in the square to shout and I can tell you that even though Nelson Mandela is uh, portrayed as a unanimously accepted saint during the time he was imprisoned, many people stood by and said nothing. After he was released, everyone wanted to say that they campaigned for him and they were decent. The fact is, it takes a few decent people to show the way and to show what we stand for because we create the reality around us. When Julian published the collateral murder video, he honored the memory of those people who were killed. When he published the Iraq war logs and the Afghan war logs, he honored the tens of thousand victims weren't even recognized. Those publications are not a matter of the past because those crimes remain impugned. The war criminals were never tried. The story of WikiLeaks is simple. A 
publisher had decided to specialize in the crimes of states, to specialize in torture, in the killing of innocents in wartime. And those publications so angered the superpower of the United States that the United States took revenge. And it came down with the full force, with all means necessary, in order to crush not only a man, but to crush what he stands for, and that is the public's right to know when states commit crimes. When we defend Julian, when you defend Julian, you're defending not just decency, and not just the memory of all those people who have been killed, but also you're defending our right to a future where we are free free to speak about crimes when they're committed by states. What is being do done to Julian is a crime. The law is being abused in order to keep him incarcerated year after year for doing the right thing. Three years in Belmarsh. When will it end? Will it end? We're now at the end game. In the United Kingdom, there are still appeals possible, but in the end, this will end up in Europe. That is why I'm here. Europe can free Julian. Europe must free Julian, because when this ends up in the European Court of Human Rights, Julian's case will create jurisprudence. What they're allowed to get away with in the European Court of Human Rights will determine the scope of our press freedom, of our right to know information that is in the public interest. We're now in a stage where states are far more powerful than they were 10 years ago. The surveillance state is merged with private security interests and corporate in interests and uh, tech giants interests. And our liberties as normal citizens are incredibly impoverished. All our liberties are tied up in Julian's freedom. I ask you all to keep fighting for Julian. We have to constantly reinvent this fight. We have to show our solidarity as terrible as what is being done to Julian it is, it is also an opportunity for us to seek out other decent people, other people who believe in something, who believe in our freedoms, and who believe in defending a man who defended all of us. Just before I spoke, I spoke to Julian and I told him that there were people from all over Europe here and there were also people from Brussels and the incredible warmth and care and solidarity 
of the people here. And it's not just us. It is millions around the world. The other side wants to suggest otherwise. That is their attack, and it's not true. We're millions of decent people because Julian has touched so many people. He's helped so many victims of war, victims of human rights abuses, and no one will take that away. We will win this fight. We must win this fight. Please join us on.